एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मे कपल ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट अपडेट्स टू स्टार्ट विद फर्स्ट कोटक इक्विटीज हैज इशूड एन अपडेट सेइंग 104 इंडियन फर्म्स आर ओवर 50 पी इनफैक्ट इन दियर रिपोर्ट नाइन आर अबव हंड्रेड एक्स पी दिस इज वन साइन इवन आई एम वॉचिंग फॉर आई एम स्टिल बाइंग सम कंपनीज विच आर रियली एक्सपेंसिव बट ओनली फॉर ट्रेडिंग आई एम अवॉइडिंग मिड टू लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट कम्प्लीटली इन फर्म्स वेयर पी हैव गॉन थ्रू द रूफ एन एस सी हैज रीच आउट टू थ्री हॉन्गकॉन्ग बेस्ड फर्म्स आस्किंग फॉर डिटेल्स ऑन द डेरिवेटिव ट्रेड्स सीम लाइक दे आर यूजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ एलगोरिदम्स टू मेक मनी इन द इंडियन मार्केट्स दिस इज टेक्निकली लीगल बट रिटेल के नॉट रियली कम्पीट विद दम आई मैंशन दिस सेवरल टाइम्स वी आर फाइटिंग बॉट्स एलगोरिदम्स एंड हाई एंड कंप्यूटर्स सो इन डेरिवेटिव मार्केट एटलीस्ट देर इज नो स्कोप ऑफ रिटेल विनिंग एट ऑल वन अपडेट आई मिस्ड कवरिंग इन द अपडेट्स लास्ट वीक वॉज द एम एस सी आई रिजिक आई क्रिएटेड अ डिटेल्ड वीडियो इन द लास्ट रिजिक अबाउट थ्री मंथ्स बैक यू कैन वॉच इट इफ यू हैवेंट एम एस सी आई रिजिक कॉजेज ह्यूज फ्लक्चुएशंस एन एस सी आई रिजिक कॉजेज ह्यूज प्राइस मूवमेंट्स इन द इफेक्टेड स्टॉक्स देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ मनी टू बी मेड एज वेल एज सेव्ड इफ यू टेक टाइमली एक्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू कवर डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर रिजिक लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन वन चैनल अपडेट आई हैव लॉन्च अ न्यू सीरीज कॉल्ड वन टू थ्री फोर two videos have been released one on saturday which was an intro video another has just been released an hour back today's video covers about 18 important topics in 15 minutes hardcore basics but in double quick time in some of the upcoming videos you'll notice this icon called nugget learning idea is many people just need an overview to start with and then they would want to go into detail if they want to so i'm going to create a series of videos which will be very small in size you will see this icon nugget learning against them today's market was very confusing if you see there is a series of red in all top 8 stocks except sbi despite that nifty was green throughout the day and actually closed in the green this is very surprising usually reliance or tcs or hdfc bank either take the nifty down with them or they bring up the nifty along with them bank nifty however was down because hdfc icici bank both were down the data you see for fis and dis is for saturday we also i expect fis to have sold and dis to have bought not expecting fis to have bought anything today i have been talking about gold reaching 75000 today it is at 74247 brent in the same range of 8283 bitcoin undecided 71000 today wick shot up in the very beginning of the day and stayed up throughout the day overall 6.26% up for the day one very interesting statistic bse says that the market cap of all companies listed on bse today crossed 5 trillion dollar this is a very significant milestone for the indian stock markets american markets are of course the biggest one with 55.65 trillion the last trillion has actually come since november hopefully india will overtake japan and hong kong by the end of this year in last few updates i have said stock markets will now go stock specific hindustan zinc went through the roof once again today it is at 743 Three now. In case you are feeling confused, what is happening in Hindustan Zinc? Notice the international prices of zinc. They are at an all-time high. There is a huge demand from China coming in right now. I feel silly. I sold Hindustan Zinc just ten days back, and it has moved up more than twenty-five percent since I sold it. Zinc is not the only commodity going this route. Copper is going the same way. Hindustan Copper is a stock that represents copper to a large extent. So does Hindalco, but that is not copper alone. That is predominantly aluminium. Copper prices globally also. are following the same curve i would in fact say hindustan copper has still a bit of rally left hindustan zinc is in pure trading paradise right now sector snapshot let's start with aerospace and defense sector of the day yet again hl up another 1% hl is up probably 3 to 4 days in a week it just that most people are now fearful of getting caught in a correction bl post fantastic results yesterday was up another 6% masgaon dog actually went up and then corrected a lot but then it rallied back for the day and went up closed 1.3% up data patterns went through a correction today nearly 5% down garden reach ship builders ahead of its results tomorrow was up 7.5% it is is not that big a company but a fantastic order book this sector continues to rock one thing which i was expecting is actually happening now garden reach apparently has got a big order from bangladesh so now the manufacturers in this space are getting international orders also hl already used to get those but other companies are also going to benefit from the international demand now let's cover metals and mining next the reason i want to talk about metals and mining specifically is it has been up for last 7 days continuously the sector was up 9% led by hindustan zinc 20% now hindustan zinc is the top stock in the sector it has overtaken jsw steel and tata steel both of them handsomely 
it was actually below JSW steel in the previous update. Today it has overtaken JSW steel by 40,000 crores. This sector, this sector is rocking right now. A bull run like these in these commodities is a very good sign of the economy. That economy is actually going through a bull run. The entire sector is now in 52 week high zone. In fact, most of these stocks are actually at lifetime highs now. Let's go through banking, which is the largest sector. Down a little, HDFC was down, ICICA was down. State Bank came to the rescue, thankfully. IRFC was up significantly. This seems to be gearing up for the election results now. Oil and gas, BPCL, HPCL did well, so did oil. However, the rally I was expecting after windfall tax was cut down considerably, that actually fizzled out, that hasn't happened. Maybe it is one or two days away. Oil India has gone up significantly, but MRPL, Chennai Petro, these stocks haven't moved at all. Coal India was up another 4.5%. This stock is on fire. There are two reasons for Coal India to go up. One, there is a huge heat wave going on. So demand for power for air conditioning will be skyrocketing. Second, in anticipation of the results on 4th of June, Public sector stocks have been going up significantly and Coal India is among the bigger stocks in the public sector. What was down? Freight and logistics, home building, holding companies. Nifty 50 surprised me today. 24 stocks down, 26 up. Most of the top 10 stocks were down or up very little except SBI. The action actually happened in the middle. This is what took the Nifty up. Otherwise, Nifty levels are typically dictated by the top 5-6 stocks only. Along with Metal Back, Hindalco of 5%. I've seen a 5% on Hindalco after a long time, I think. The stocks that were up were up with very high volumes. Many stocks had more than 100% volumes today after a long time. Hindalco, Coal, Tata Steel, JSW, Adani Ports, Power Grid, Sipla. Good handsome gains on heavyweight stocks. What was down? Nestle, the auto stocks, Hero. Maruti, ICICI, TCS, Ultratech. One major change that happened today was 15 stocks are now in the 90 to 100% zone and nearly 50% of the indices is in the 80 to 100% zone, 24 out of 50 stocks. The market breadth of next 50 was lot better, 33 up, 17 down. Along with Hindustan Zinc, the parent Vedanta was up 7%, PEL 6%, Jindal up, LIC, InfoEdge, Hevels, Ambuja. For the stocks with larger gains, the volumes were fantastic as well. Zomato after moving up significantly corrected a bit, nearly 3% down. T3 stocks are now in the 80% and above zone. This indice is moving towards lifetime highs every day. IT index, TCS, Infosys, Wipro, LTI all down. HCL up a little, Tech Mahindra a little. Persistent corrected a bit today. Nothing special in the bank index. PSU banks, a sea of green, that to big greens. SBI 1%, Baroda 1%, Indian Overseas 3.7%. Indian Bank caught me by surprise. I actually sold it in the morning and then it went up 30 rupees. A little disappointed, but at least the reading was right. Lot of action in my portfolio. I sold off 1000 MRPL data patterns I got rid of. In fact, I sold it before it corrected. I sold Indian Bank before the rally. If I had not sold it, I would have made 33,000 more. But there is no way to predict these price movements or try to catch the peak. Musgaon Dock also finally I emptied the bucket. I booked the profits in BL which I had just bought two days back. As soon as I sold these, I bought good positions in Garden Reach. 500 stocks. This is primarily for trading. I want this to go up another 5 to 10 percent tomorrow before the results. I will probably not keep this stock beyond tomorrow or day after. I'll sell it off and book the profits. I also sold Chennai Petro. Two of these positions were sold in losses. It's okay. I want it to be on cash. After two months, a decent profit booked in a single day. Otherwise, last two months did not give too much gains for the portfolio. I'll probably lighten a bit more in anticipation of the election results. I have not formalized the strategy, but I want to sit on cash. Now, markets may rally on 4th, 5th June. That's okay. I'll probably take some trades and invest later on. Markets are in an overbought zone in general. As far as I remember in last two results, after the results, market really shot up significantly. It may happen again also. Note that this is my trading portfolio. My investment portfolio, which is long term, is still intact. In this particular list, I'll probably sell off mass financial where I have significant positions and maybe MRPL and JM Financials also. It may be getting taxing to be in the market these days. The very simple reason is there is one or two stocks which go up a lot every day. We can't possibly be holding all the stocks. So we notice one or two stocks making 8, 10%, 15% kind of jumps every day. This becomes very distressing and depressing. But don't worry, it is not just you. All of us go through this sentiment. 
it is not possible to hold beyond 5 to 10 percent good stocks but they are perhaps 50 60 good stocks so there will be something that will go up irrespective whether you are a trader or investor that you don't own so it's okay my only suggestion would be to have some sort of ammunition in your arsenal don't empty out your pockets completely in case there is a correction just after the results of election or a week or 10 days after don't run out of cash there will be opportunities if, if not now then maybe after one month or two months that's okay it's okay to miss some rallies this is not the last rally if there's a rally there will be enough opportunities to make money what you don't want is to kind of get blocked with all of your money and then you'll neither have money nor courage to trade if you're an ipl fan then enjoy the match kkr versus srh i'm rooting for srh thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow